You're right, folks. As you can see on the screen, we are talking about also the title of the video. We're talking about the news from FM25 has been delayed until March 2025. So we're going to talk about that. Go look at what they've said. I'm not ready yet. I've just seen the thing. I'm not ready yet myself. And then we'll discuss the channel and how things are going to go from there. So uh, one second, folks. I had, to, I had to sneeze there. I didn't want to do it on camera. So yeah, we're going to talk about. We'll go through what they've talked about, what my thoughts on it are, and what the plans are going for the channel for the rest of the cycle because obviously it's now being extended and we've got various things we could do so we'll get into that today as well so on the screen right now you should be able to see it on the screen um if not i i'm reading it anyway so this today about an hour ago ish um something like that um foot manager 25 late until march 2025 after after i by the way i suck at reading out loud on videos in school i did i had the same problem i can read Fine, just believing out loud is, don't know why it's a problem. So, after careful consideration, Sports Interactive have made the tough decision to, to further delay the release of Football Manager 25. Following discussion with Sega, our licensors, licenses, SARS, whatever, either way, and partners, we've agreed the best course of action is to delay the launch until March 2025. But flat platform these days will follow once confirmed. So, the delayed 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 it of it again so in the last this is a bit small so i'll read this out for you guys you can't read it you can read it yourself the link is on their twitter page in our latest development update in september we explained we need that we needed to push fm 25s originally step back to give us a more time to deliver the best possible experience for the first installment of the new era for manager this additional time has not been sufficient to ensure the game quality and experience meets our reach your expectations and our very high standards in the previous blog, we explained that it had, it has been a difficult development cycle for the studio. Many things have been moving slower than we would, we had predicted, despite everyone in the team working at an incredible pace to try and get everything done. Timelines were already tight, and right and as rightly pointed out by many of the recent comments, we were simply rushing too much and in danger of compromising our usual standards. Fair enough. More coming should, to the, to, should take that, especially those who will be bringing out yearly games. This put enormous amount of pressure on everyone working across the studio who are all partially committed to living the best game possible. FN25 is the biggest technical and visual advancement in this series for a generation. We simply cannot compromise the delivery of this crucial juncture in F football, oh, like FM, football manager history by rushing to release it in November. Of course, this is not what this is not where any of us expected to be seven weeks out from our release, but in the spirit of this of our of our student wow, of our studio values, we always consider the bigger picture. And the bigger picture here is that we need this additional time to deliver a game that we can all be proud of. For the large numbers of people who've already pre ordered the game, we thank you very much for your trust and support. Given the delay, however, you should should you wish to claim a refund, please contact the retailer. I didn't do it yet. I was going to get paid, but I'm not going not, not, not to get any no, no reason to get it, is there? Something you noted was missing from my announcement on the 1st of September was the mention of advanced access on PC. Matt, we can confirm advanced access will be available ahead of the new release date. And when we are confident on how long that period will be, we'll update you at the first opportunity. The new gameplay review will also move to the end of January 2025. We are in, we're intensely aware that this is massively disappoint, disappointing to you. We share your disappointment and, extreme, we are, and we are and are extremely sorry. Thank you for reading and, and thank you for reading and your patience. It means the world to us as we continue to work on creating a new era of for, for football manager. So, this is what I think most companies should be doing more often. Not so much the games that have been out when I release every four or five years, but companies that bring out games like this, who are making games yearly, and EA being a great example of that, of course. I'm sure there's other ones as well. Um, where you're releasing games every single year, um, and you're trying to catch that yearly cash grab. This is good, but what I would say about this is you may as well not bother releasing it. You may as well wait another year. You may as well. Uh, I know they probably can't do that because the money, they need, they, need, they need that excess money coming in. So I guess what, I know that they can't. But for me, you may as well wait a few more months and release it in the summer. You know, and just say, this is a new area. We're going to start from here and go from there. Um, 
I know they won't do that because they've already probably committed to it and they need to get the money in and they go that long without an update, you know, uh, a new game and then one and come they may struggle with that. So the fact that you can still pre-order it shows that as well, which makes it fair enough. What I would say is because people are already saying in the comments of this post on Twitter and I'm guessing in the, form, in the forums as well, is should we have then a data update being brought, be brought out for the current game? Whilst I think that's a cool idea, I don't think they'll do that. I could be wrong. Because that means people then won't buy the new game, potentially. And I, and I think that will be, will be a big selling point for the new game. So, oh, if I can finally get the new database, a future database on it. And that is why I think they won't do it. And it makes sense from a company point of view to not do to do it that way. Um, they may change their mind and do that. They might do it. I would make. I would say they probably should. But I get the argument if they don't do it, as to say, well, if we do that, we may lose some sales because people will just walk by the new game because they've got the database they want officially. And I think that is um, why we won't see a database update. Unless I'm mistaken, I could be wrong. They may see as a goodwill gesture saying, you know what, you can play the new database if you want. And if you want the new game, you can get the new game. You know, if you want the new match engine... The thing is, they could spin it and say the new match engine could be a new, brand new feature and people want to buy it to play that new match engine, you know, the new engine, graphical engine they've got. So I don't know where we'll see an update um, on, like, these are database. I'm guessing people ask them that and they'll maybe answer that. I don't think we will. I think they'll say, we released it, Red for 24, that's the, base, that's the, the, the database. But we'll see. And there, you, you can buy, you can get a database yourself, custom database, but they may give us something like that as a thank you and uh, you know I don't know we'll see so where's leave our channel I'll leave it on the screen here so you can keep reading if you want to right so obviously uh, I was planning on the release in November um, and I was planning this series accordingly so we ended the double one or paused it at least whilst we were doing this so what the plan is um, is we'll continue with Man United um, the year 708, but that's probably going to be a one season series. Um, and then we'll bring back Barry Munich alongside it. And then once the Man United series ends after one season, um, we'll then do Double TV again and bring those two series back because I want to try and finish them off in some in some fashion. Um, now that's the current plan. I'll do a video on next time I do an episode of that series to give people's thoughts on that. If you got this final video, you can leave thoughts down below. I'll do a, I'll do a post as well. But that's my current thinking: was this was a short term series anyway with Man United, the over seven or eight series. So we do that series, do the one year. So we did one year with them. We couldn't do it. Move on, because after that, you kind of lose the database as it was, back you know back when what, what it's based on. So. But we've got Bayern Deportivo, which we started, and I want to try and least finish those series one way or another, and then we'll go from there. We may do one series, one season with Man United on 07 or 08, leave the database there, and come back to it a later date. Uh, I don't know. But we've got this of October, November, December, January, February, and some of March. So it's six months, five months, really, if you count, if you count. October, well, not ha yeah, basically October, October, November, December. January, February, five months uh, to get through those series. That should be doable. Um, and what I must like, depending on how long these series take, will dictate what we do. So if I end the Bayern Munich series and we win Champions League with them, which I think we hopefully will do at some point, we'll then end that one and then Devil Team will come daily and then we'll keep going. And if we get to a point whereby we get second Devil Team and we can't do anything with them, um, we then have a decision to make, but I might. That's why I want to do United for one season, pause it, then we double TV back. That makes sense in my head because I don't want to start a new series and then end up having it end abruptly. I'd rather continue as I've got now and then develop it and then go from there. But I'll do a post on this um, today on the community section. EFC is on the channel now. It's something that I'm combining all the stuff, stuff together. I did a poll and people didn't seem that bothered by it two people voted so far and they said they want EFC and FM so that's fine so yeah um, I think it's good take your time delay things I've always said I don't like the idea of yearly, yearly releases for games I'm not a big I think a lot of times you end up rushing through it 
the cycle, for example, is you have a cycle of two or three months of a game, you start supporting that game because then you've got to release a new one and you don't focus on the things that make sense. It's like, I'd rather, like, EFC 25 come out this year, a gap next year, then another one after that. So you have the release this year, 25, you don't get a release, and then, or you, or you get a date update for it, and then you get the full new game the year after. That would be better for me. I think you could get you get better game quality from that. I think you have to iron out the things and work on things longer term and develop things better. But here's the thing: I get it why they do it that way. FM and EA, for example, because they need that really income coming in. And if they don't have that, unless they make the deal dates when you can buy for like forty nine or whatever, you know what I mean. Um, so I like this. Hope we get a better game at the end of it. It's just disappointing. I just think at this point, it's now March. You may as well push it back to next year again. Um, but there'll be reason why it's March. There'll be reason why it's March. And it means to see what happens with Evan 26 because does this mean that now we're going to get a really short cycle? Or are they now moving this now to a March release every single year? Because otherwise, you've got a really short cycle of Evan 26. Um, and I think that would be really weird, but that's things that they'll communicate that at some point. I would, I'd imagine if it, if I was if I was being smart, I would release F and twenty six on March next in March, the following year, or say there's a longer gap between this game and the next one, just get back on back on track to the usual release that they do. But they, again, they work on that themselves and they work and they work on that themselves um, in the meantime. So that's my thoughts on this, guys. Um, Living the videos about about right. So we're going to be recording Man United and Bayern Munich um, and then we'll be Dorothy will be back. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching folks. I'll see you guys next time and your thoughts on this. There's going to be a bit of a gap. Obviously I'm going to release Man United episode tomorrow. Um, this is going to release right now and then I'm going to do back on the recording tomorrow. So thanks for watching folks. See you later. Bye-bye.